Hello friends. So in this video, <coughs> we are going to study about the construction of isometric projection of solids obtained by some sections. See, they may be asked some questions where a solid is sectioned by some section planes and we have to draw or construct the isometric view or isometric projection of the solid after sectioning it, right. So in this video, we are going to study the construction of isometric projection of sectioned solids. So the problem is a square prism, sorry a square pyramid of base 35 mm and height 70 mm and height 70 mm is sectioned or cut by an auxiliary inclined plane which is uh, perpendicular to VP and inclined at an angle 30 degree with HP. We have to obtain or we have to construct the isometric view of the sectioned solid. So we know that uh, the first step will be the construction of the orthographic projection of the given condition, right. So we know that uh, it is a square pyramid uh, which is placed on the ground uh, and it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to VP inclined at an angle 30 degree with HP passing through the midpoint of the axis. So we have learned how to construct the section of a solid in the uh, section of solids in the portion section of solids. So by utilizing that we can see that see this is the top view of the square pyramid in the top view we can see the square pyramid and a square and this is the front view. Now it is cut by a section plane passing through the midpoint of the axis perpendicular to VP and inclined at an angle 30 degree. So that this will be the vertical trace or VT and that intersected the square pyramid at four different points. These are the first two points name it as 1 dash 2 dash and these are the other two points named it as 3 dash and 4 dash on projecting it to the top view we have obtained this as the sectioned view of the pyramid. So now we have obtained the sectioned view of the square pyramid and we have to mark it in the or construct it into the isometric view. So we know that how to construct the isometric view from the corresponding orthographic projection right we have learned it before. So by utilizing that it is very easy to convert this image into an isometric view. How can we construct it? The first step is uh, construct the square in the isometric or transfer this square in the isometric axial system. So we can take these four points and mark these four points here. So this will be our capital C, take this distance, mark here. So this will be our capital B, take this distance, mark here. So this will be our capital D. See since it is placed on the ground it will be in the xy plane. So the corresponding isometric view also will be in the isometric x and y line. We know that the isometric x and y line are uh, axis are lying at an inclination of 60 degree towards the right and towards the left. So we have obtained the isometric projection or isometric view sorry isometric view of the corresponding square clear now what will be the next step the next step will be see enclose this portion in a square in a rectangle in a quadrilateral like this in a rectangle like this name this points as naming is not needed so enclose this portion in a rectangle and mark this rectangle here inside this box. So how can we obtain? See these four points are the four inside points right and we know that how to convert these inside points in an isometric projection or isometric view. So take this distance and locate this point. This will be the point. Similarly this point can be located. So obtain that point, similarly this point can be located, so the four points are 
located. Now, how can we obtain the section? See, we have learned that. Eh? See, this is the top view of the section, right? In the front view only, we can see its height. So, in the front view, we can see that eh, these two points, these points are, this is point 3 and this is point 4, this is point 1 and this is point 2. Uh, it is marked here. So, this point 4 is actually it is lying at a height of this. Okay. So, at the point 4, we can take this height. For that, we have to mark this 1, 2, 3 and 4 inside this rectangle. How can we mark those points? It is clear that uh, these two points are 4 and 3. So, this point will be our 4, this point will be our 3. Actually, this is for the top view of the point 3 and 4 and similarly we can obtain these two points as see if we complete this rectangle now we can take this distance so that this will be the top view of 1 this will be the top view of 2 so we know that the point 3 is lying at a height of this so at 3 take this height so this will be our height at 4 also take this height. So, this will be our 4. So, this is our actual 4 and this is our actual 3. Actually, these 3 and 4 are the top views of uh, this 3 dash and 4 dash. Similarly, take this height at this point. Draw a vertical. Actually, these points are lying vertical. Since it is lying in the parallel to VP, this is lying in the Z axis. Isometric Z axis is also lying in the vertical line. So, take this distance, draw a vertical from this point so that 1 is obtained. Similarly, take this distance from 2, from this point, take that height. So, in that manner, we have obtained 2 also. So, once you obtained all the 4 points, connect 1, 2, 4, 3, again with 1, so that uh, we have obtained uh, the isometric view of the section. So, now we know that uh, this 3 is connected with D. So, connect this 3 with D. 4 is connected with C. Connect 4 with C. 2 is connected with B. So, connect 2 with B. And 1 is connected with A. But while connecting 1 with A, it is lying inside the solid so that it will become invisible so it is not needed so complete the entire solid so this will be our isometric view of the given section so it is very easy the first thing is we have to complete the orthographic projection. Once you complete the orthographic projection, first construct the isometric view of the top view and the section and from the section points, take the corresponding height of the section and complete the isometric. So, I think all of you have understood this question. Thank you.